Welcome back to Side Alley Gaming, everybody, for another episode in this Cricket 19 World Cup series as we're looking to guide England into the semi finals, which we've already actually done, but also hopefully take them through to the final and get them to lift their first World Cup trophy. It's the last group stage today. It's the last group match, I should say, today. It's England versus Sri Lanka, and it's coming up next. Welcome back everybody to this final group match. It's England versus Sri Lanka from the Lord's Cricket Ground. And uh, England already have booked their place into the semi-finals. Unchanged lineup for England, no need to change it. They've uh, won now six, I believe. I think it is on the bounce. India was the last game. What a nail-biting finish that one was. And before that, Afghanistan, another nail-biting match. So England showing the character needed to go long in this tournament. The final match is against Sri Lanka and uh, just looking to, uh, could have experimented I guess in this match, brought in some players that have been left out but uh, didn't want to change the winning combination and thought, you know, we just want to keep the momentum going, keep the guys in form. Sri Lanka have won the toss and what they're going to be looking to do on this medium on grassy pitch today, Sri Lanka will be, let's go, they've chosen to bowl so once again England will be setting a target. So here we go, Lasit Malinga opening the bowling. Roy is on strike. I haven't faced Malinga. Oh my goodness, what have we done? He's picked us up on his first delivery. The action has completely done me. I thought it was going outside the off stump and uh, yep, completely misread it. England lose their first wicket on the very first delivery. Roy is frustrated as I can imagine. And uh, I was just about to say that, uh, yeah, looking forward to facing Malinga and his action. Well, uh, don't know if I'm going to say that now. Right, Joe Root is on strike. We've already qualified. That doesn't mean we just give up here, guys. Come on. Oh, missed it again. Really not picking up this action at all. Right, so great first over from Malinga so far. Can't even get my words out. No runs and a wicket. Fourth delivery coming up and another dot ball. Finally, we get some bat on ball for a change and we get off the mark. One run. Wow, this over has been really good for Sri Lanka. Very similar to the Afghanistan match where England got off to a slow start, but Malinga has really bowled well here. Only the one run, last delivery coming up. Have not been able to figure out his action. We don't figure it out on this delivery. End of the over, one for one. Try to go big here. I don't think we've cleared the man and that's going to be another wicket, so... Sri Lanka are really on top of England here. The tight bowling is building up pressure. Runs aren't coming. So the English batsmen decide to go over the top. It doesn't work. And Morgan is now coming in rather earlier than he would have expected. So again, a bit of a struggle from the openers. England are in trouble. Two runs on the board only. And uh, now we can't even to go big we can't take the risk as we pierce the gap that should hopefully give us our first boundary no it doesn't do we come back for the third nope throw is good we're just going to get the two runs this is what um tight bowling does a great first over from malinga and then uh, a great second over as well so pressure is not building you know you have to go big but at the same time well that's just a terrible terrible shot and uh yeah i didn't expect that to be a wide so Last ball coming up, only four runs on the board and already two wickets down. That's a much better shot, doesn't beat the man at square leg and they'll get just the one run. End of the second over, five for the loss of two. Right, Kumara coming in, we have to target him, we have to get some sort of a respectable total on the board if we can. That's beaten the gap, that's found the gap and beaten the men, four runs. Oh, lovely shot. That's gone for six runs. Timed it perfectly. Three ideals. 115 yard six. So Morgan is now on strike. And we're definitely targeting Kumara here because uh, we need to get the runs on the board. It's as simple as that. As that one's gone in the air, that's going to go all the way as well. Lovely timing. Morgan is off the mark. Six runs. One more delivery to go in this over. And so far, it's been a really good one. 17 coming off this over. Last ball coming up. Can we make some more runs here? We've gone big again. I think this will be a one bounce four. Short boundaries at Lords and it's gone for another six. Big shot from Morgan. That's gone for six. Timed it perfectly. And it went the minute it left the bat, you knew that was going for six runs. So England now starting to come back into the game. 35 on the board. Morgan on 18. Root is on 15. 
Can we keep this momentum going? That's the key here. Again, tried to go for the big shot. This time we found the man, haven't timed it. Bad footwork, bad timing. And Sri Lanka have picked up the danger man. Morgan has gone. So Root is on strike. The batsman crossed. Three deliveries to go in this over. Don't really want to slow down this uh, momentum if we can. Want to keep going for the big shots. There's no point in holding back now. We do need to get at least 50. We've always said that 50 is the pass score in these 5-5 matches. And that has it been timed. It just gets over square legs. Going to run over four runs. That was a risky shot. It needed to be played. Joe Root will now need to stay there till the end. Right, 19 or 15 Root. Butler's on the other end. Hasn't faced a ball yet. Last ball coming up. Where are we going to put this one? Try to go in the same area again. Haven't timed it as well. Haven't placed it as well. But it will run away for four runs. Last over of the Sri Lankan inning starting now. England of 43. All of a sudden, this is now looking like a respectable total. Oh, missed out on that one. Definitely missed out on that one. Going to move across a little bit to the offside. Try to make some space on the leg side if possible. That's where the gaps are. And that's where we've tried to go. We haven't timed as well as I wanted, but it'll run away for four runs. Again, not timed as well as we wanted. Should have gone for four, but doesn't. Only the one run. One delivery left. England are 49 for three. Can we get over 50? Psychologically, just puts you in a better space the minute you cross 50 in 5-5 five -five cricket. Right, last ball coming up. Oh, that should have been a wide. Should have left it. God knows what we did. We've made a hash of it. And at the end of the inning, Sri Lanka will now need 50 to win. Right, here we go. Wokes to kick off this innings. Not Well, the target at the moment for Sri Lanka is very simple. I mean, they only need 50 runs of 30 deliveries, which, as we've seen in the India match, is very easy to get. Uh, luckily, in the India match, we had a lot more runs on the board. But if the Sri Lankan batsmen get off to a flyer here, then uh, England will have some work cut out for them. As that runs away for four, it's off the back foot, slashes it, goes for four runs. So, Wilkes needs to tighten this up by no means is this game over i mean we bowl well we can defend these totals we've defended them in the past but uh, just because we're qualified don't need any complacency need to get home with a victory need to take this winning run into the semi-finals with us right where are we going to bowl him let's go for the in-swinger here five off the over already that's a better delivery should only be one run if nothing i think it's a dot ball so two deliveries to go Wilkes has bowled well so far. Going for the Yorker this time. Can we pick up our first wicket? Oh, this is in the air. This is in the air. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we've dropped it. Oh, we've dropped it. Tough chance. Messed it up. Should have been a wicket. And we've made a hash of it. Terrible fielding, England. Come on. Catches, win, matches. It's the oldest saying. Last ball of the over coming up. Finish strong. Dot ball. End of the over. Five with that loss. Oh, we're going to go up for that one. That looked plumb. That looked close. Not given. Not given. Do we refer this? That looked really close. It was coming back in. And uh, we're going to go for it. We need to make a breakthrough. I think that was close. It wasn't given. So are we going to be able to overturn the decision here on review? It's a legitimate delivery. That's not an issue. Was there an inside edge? I don't think there was. Let's have a look here. Right. Was there an inside edge? Was there an inside edge? No inside edge. Ooh, I think it might be the height here. Right, here we go. Pitches in line. Not an issue. Impact was in line. Is it going over the top? Wickets are missing. Bad review. Right, so England have lost their one and only review. But we had to go for it. It looked a lot closer than it actually was in the end. And uh, will this be our first wicket? No, it runs away for four runs. So, yeah, going back to that review, I honestly thought it hit him a little bit lower than it actually did. So if I knew it hit him where it did, probably wouldn't have taken the review. But that's the thing with the reviews. You go with your gut instincts. Sometimes you get them right. Sometimes uh, you don't. And uh, let's forget the review because we've been dispatched for two boundaries in a row. We need to quickly sort this out. So... Mark Wood coming in for his fourth delivery. Going for the short off cutter here. That's edged. There's no slip and that's going to run in for another boundary. Oh, he's dropped it. 
it came at him really quickly and Moin Ali has put that one down end of the over 17 without loss oh is that out yes it is Adil Rashid makes the breakthrough as he's done in the past he's come in he's broken the partnership a little edge lovely take by the keeper England get their first wicket right last ball of Rashid's over coming up only one run off it and he's picked up the wicket can he finish here strong it goes over the air it's gonna go for four runs so end of the over 22 for one right last over 27 needed of six deliveries Archer's gonna bowl the last over at the death here first ball has been dispatched over the infield that's gonna run away for four runs need to bowl tight here there's plenty of runs here Jofra you don't need to uh, you don't need to really get carried away here just bowl a couple of tight deliveries and uh, we should be okay that's a much better delivery good comeback that's going to be a dot ball not sure why they didn't take a quick single there they really need to get a move on here if they've got any chance of winning this game they can't afford not to take singles like those that are on offer right going for the yorker again this one's launched there's a man coming around will he get to it one bounce four runs in off three now this is going to be tricky can he bowl well there we go that's an outside edge is going to run away for four runs was a good enough delivery from Jofra. unlucky goes outside edge four runs right let's change the length up 12 have gone off this over already going for the short delivery here and that's going to be a dot ball and that will also be the match for england only one more delivery left 15 needed off the last ball barring a no ball calamity england will get over the line here as the last ball comes in and that's also going to be a dot ball so england get home by 14 runs right let's have a look at the match summary quickly guys 49 for three england off their five overs root the man of the match 24 not out of 18 deliveries sri lanka didn't really make it a run chase 35 for the loss of one after the five overs dick weller making 21 not out england get over the line with 14 runs and joe root picks up the man of the match the final standings in this Cricket 19 World Cup. England, West Indies, India and New Zealand make the top four. Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, South Africa, Afghanistan and I still cannot believe it. Australia, bottom of the table, all miss out. And um, the only difference is West Indies. I mean, if you compare it to real life, England, India, New Zealand all made it into the semis and uh, West Indies are the only difference where they've replaced Australia and uh, yeah it's really interesting India, New Zealand and Bangladesh all finished on 10 runs Bangladesh actually missed out by net run rate which is uh, exactly what happened to Pakistan New Zealand finished 4th, Pakistan finished 5th, missed out on net run rate and in our Cricket 19 World Cup Bangladesh finished 5th and again New Zealand sneak through on net run rate so it'll be England versus New Zealand in the semi-final one and in the second semi-final it will be West Indies versus India so I'm going to leave it there guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the episode do smash that like button if you're new around here please do subscribe really helps the channel grow and do let me know your feedbacks in the comments below as always I love reading those guys and uh, until next time as always look after yourselves and catch up soon